So this is where it kind of all started um, about three years ago when I posted this video on Twitter about Alex Belfield. So yesterday I um, posted about Alex Belfield um, and thank you to everybody who reached out to me. Um, but I kind of feel that I've been keeping silent about all this since January. Um, mainly because I didn't want the drama. Um, I didn't want to get myself into any more trouble. Um, but I now recognise that by keeping quiet about it, it's actually enabled Alex to target and and victimise other people who aren't as resilient. Um, and that needs to stop. So I've written up my entire account of what Alex put me through. And hopefully that for anybody who reads it, who shares my experience and has had a similar experience, you're not alone. And hopefully the more people that know what Alex is like and what he's capable of, the better chance we have of combating him and stopping him because he needs to stop. The article is on my website, that stage blog. And if anybody wants to reach out to me and message me, you can do, please do. My email is stagey at thatstageblog.com. To be honest, I don't regret posting it despite everything that I've had to go through for the past three years. Um, it launched a criminal investigation. It got a criminal conviction and Alex Belfield was sentenced to four counts of stalking um, and jailed for five and a half years, which I don't think would have happened had I not spoken out about it. Um, so yeah, there would have been more. I think if other people had come forward sooner and not felt so intimidated and scared, there would have been a lot more cases. So I think, if anything, Alex Belfield did get off lightly 